Are you filming already? Yeah, a okay. long time. Already seven Thank seconds. Thank you for my <laughs> the bad side of my face. Bom dia! Yes, he is telling me. <laughs> I will wait because else there's uh, women who keeps... What? What is it? Cap. Guys, bom dia! I'm going to... I'm going to stop the car now because else she will interrupt me. Bom dia! Today, yes, some Bitcoin charts and some other things, but we are searching for a new house. Because the Wi-Fi is like shit in the house we are staying at the moment. That's why I couldn't upload the video yesterday. I could only upload it this morning with 4G on a very difficult spot to reach so that the telephone had like signal. So we are going to search for a house today. And of course, I will mingle this with some charts. So that will be in today's video. Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Welcome to the YouTube family, YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. The one filming there is Romain, that's my wife. And yes, we are the family that went all in three and a half years ago when we sold literally everything we owned, our house, our companies, our cars, and her shoes, everything. And we started traveling the world. Now, three and a half, almost four years later, still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Lagos and Portugal, where we are searching for a new Bitcoin life in a new Bitcoin house in this beautiful Bitcoin Prime Machina SUV that is soon being wrapped in Bitcoin style. Enjoy today's video, guys. One of the apartments is in this street. Okay. It's, like it's almost the on the beach. <laughs> Oh, There's that one on top there. And then it has a rooftop terrace with a beautiful sea view. And the beautiful part of this one is they have two apartments. That one and the one on the corner. That I think is the top one. The whole corner like. Yeah, with the Buddha and the sun. That one fits us. And a rooftop terrace that is one option guys let me know what you think about that option i think it's like on the border of the center like 10 minutes walk into the middle of the center four minute walks onto the beach could be a very good option for us agree i need to ask if she agrees because i don't have any choice in this it's all up to the wife and the kids so. yeah, but what do you want to say <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's hard to be with four women. Oh God! It is. It is. <laughs> I pity you. No, I don't. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm driving to the next one. That one is the street ahead. Here. We found two in the same area. Guy told me just jump over the wall and you can see it. The gardens. You cannot see inside the house, but then at least you know what kind of house this. He's coming tomorrow. He's coming from Faro, so it's a long drive. Yeah. Maybe. Beautiful backdrop with cows and some bulls, hopefully. Maybe, yeah. Is it Bitcoins? This is breaking and entry. What do you call this? Breaking and entry? <laughs> we are allowed. Antonio told us we are allowed. So if somebody will hold us here, we need to say, Antonio told us we are allowed. Why doesn't my car door close? One second. I found a new function. If I push the close the door thing, and it hangs. Some luck. Of course, which door do you think is not closed? Jesus, women. Now it's closed. So this uh, signal of oh, that one is warning me, the, clo the doors are not closed if you close the car. Okay, this looks really nasty. Uh, our own crops. That's kind of cool. What? 
Lemon? Grapes. Where do you see the lemon? You see those yellow things? <laughs> those are lemon. Apple. Mini apple. Right? I agree. Somewhere. Yeah. I think they died. It could be really cool um, to have our own garden with some lemons. So then we can clean up this mess and create a beautiful garden with fruits and vegetables. This is a nice corner for the evenings. Sit there, barbecue. It's big enough to put a pool. Now we could buy this inflatable pool and build a huge pool here for the kids. So this is another option. So let me know down below the video, what do you think about this one? Would you prefer the house with the sea view, the apartment, so that was an apartment with three bedrooms, or would you prefer a house like this with also beautiful views outside of nature a little bit and some other villas, but you have a huge garden? Yes, but I need the city inside as well. <laughs> because on the outside, it looks a little bit like old but you want to do we can clean yeah it up. i don't mind old but um not taken care of yes <laughs> the positive thing is i can see one thing this one that one guess what you can hang in between these two but it has potential So one thing we know for sure, the house has electricity. <laughs> yeah. And pears. Oh man, this is a pear tree. And what is this? Pool with bugs, like yellowish, blackish bugs. Poisonous bugs. It's amazing, Steve Urban would say. Yeah, we can make our own fires over here. There's a lot of shit here. Horse shit. Look, beautiful garden with plastic and all that stuff so we can make art out of the plastic enjoy the white car as long as you can guys because you know it's going to be wrapped in really cool colors and yes not yet sharing yet how but I can tell you it's going to be really cool especially the rooftop the rooftop the rooftop the roof the roof the roof the roof, the roof is on fire we don't wanna let the motherfucker burn <gasps> she said motherfucker did you just say motherfucker to our subscribers? It's a song. <laughs> Can you sing the song one more time? No. I want to eat. Eat, sleep, rave, repeat. <laughs> no, let's go. So you think she needs to live with this? I need to live with that. In between searching houses, having a lunch here over there with my family, I still need to record some videos about the Bitcoin charts because yes, I don't want my videos only to be about searching houses and family life. So here we go. I'm going to talk about Bitcoin to you guys when I walk this beautiful beach here in Lagos. Maybe instead of walking into the sea or the beach, let's take a look in these dunes. I've never been to these dunes over here. Let's take a look over there. So let's take a look at the first Bitcoin chart. I want to show you a chart of the total market cap in Bitcoin. I want to show you what is happening with the total market cap. So take a look at this chart. Bam! On this chart, guys, you can see that in February, we tried to break the 300 billion US dollar market cap. We didn't break this one in February. So in February, this 300 billion total market cap was a resistance. Then later in July, we tried it again. We tried to break the, th the 300 billion market cap again in July. And then yes, we succeeded. We broke the 300 billion market cap in July. And we took it all the way up to 384 billion US dollar total crypto market cap amazing time in July and you all know what happened then yes we saw these beautiful prices in Bitcoin going all the way up to 12,400 and then we fell down again and then we retested the 300 billion US market cap not as a resistance but now we tested it as a support and yes we succeeded we saw the 300 billion US dollar market cap as a support we went up again a little bit and now we came down again to retest this 300 billion US dollar total market cap region again if we are able 
to hold this 300 billion market cap as a support, then it is very positive for the total cryptocurrency market. And it will be an indicator to see a moonshot back to 380 billion US dollar market cap or even a 470 billion US market cap. These are the two next targets. Again, the 380 we already visited and then the 470. And then on top of that, to create this new all-time high, we will visit the 800 billion market cap and even a trillion market cap in the future, I think. I think in this next bull run, maybe we can even see a 2 trillion market cap. So let's see where this total market cap chart will be in 12 to 18 months. Are you enjoying these dunes, by the way? I need to watch out where I walk. Maybe there's a dune snake here in Portugal. I don't even know what animals are living here. So let me know in the comments. Are there dune snakes? Do dune snakes even exist? Or is that just a plain rattlesnake like crawling through these dunes? But it's a beautiful, beautiful area. You can see the houses on the back. Then you have the dunes and then you have these beaches. These beaches are like, man, they are like 50 to 100 meters wide. It's like amazing. You can walk them. This one is, I think, 100 meters wide. And I think like 10 kilometers long, you can walk the whole beach. It's a beautiful place. I, I'm, I'm falling more and more in love with Portugal, not only because it's a 0% tax heaven for Bitcoiners like me, but also because of the people, the food, the culture, and the beaches, the weather. Man, it's, it's, it's just almost as perfect as Koh Phangan, House of Dao in Thailand. So I think if I want to create a basis here in Europe, it would be definitely here in Portugal. So let's take a look at another chart. This chart is a Bollinger Band chart. This is a weekly chart. And this weekly chart is showing you how important this Bollinger Band has been in the past, but how important it also will be in the future. So yes, I need to pinch my eyes again because I'm walking towards the sun, but then I get this beautiful shiny brownie look on my face, on your videos. So <laughs> and I need to walk back to the restaurant to continue my vino verde. In Portugal, they have a wine or a rosé. It's called vino verde. It's like a green, green wine. It's not looking green, greenish, but it's a young wine. So that's why it's called vino verde. It tastes amazing. Yes, again, drinking some alcohol during my diet. I know I am not allowed, but one or two glasses a day. Everybody needs some alcohol now and then, especially when you live this life with three daughters and a wife. But as you can see on this chart, bam! On this chart, guys, you can see this Bollinger Band. And yes, you can see that in June 2019, we tested the top of this Bollinger Band line. So the Bollinger Band is a three-lined indicator, the top line, the bottom line, and you have this middle line. June 2019, we touched the top of this Bollinger Band. And then from there till October 2019, we touched the bottom line of this Bollinger Band. So in October, we had a dip to the bottom line of this Bollinger Band. To continue upwards again, to test the top line in February 2020. And yes, of course, what goes up comes down. So we went down again to the bottom line in March 2020. That was this low this year, around 3,500 Bitcoin price, which would, be the, which would have been the amazing time to buy into Bitcoin. I know many of you didn't buy into Bitcoin and many of you expect us to go down again. I will show, I will soon show you a little bit more about how far we could go down so, so you can time and you can set your buy orders to buy Bitcoin before we explode into this next bull run. Because in March, indeed, we touched this bottom line, but in August, we again touched this fly, but in August, we again touched the top line. That was when we saw this 12,400 Bitcoin price. Can you see this trend? From the top of the line of the Bollinger Band to the bottom of the line of the Bollinger Band and again back to the top of the line of this Bollinger Band. And now from August, the top of this Bollinger Band, we fell down. Did we fall down to the bottom of this Bollinger Band? No. We found support on the midline of this Bollinger Band. And this is exactly the important thing that is, go that is happening. Because the previous times we found support on this midline of the Bollinger Band during a bull run we saw an increase in the price. So every time in the previous bull runs, when we saw, when we saw the Bitcoin price touching the top line, falling back to the midline, finding support on this bit midline, we saw the Bitcoin price continue the trend up again 
with the Bollinger Band to the new to the top line of this Bollinger Band again and so not crashing down to the bottom of this Bollinger Band very interesting chart yes of course you want to hear me also talk about the bearish uh, outcome yes there is also a bearish scenario I'm going to show you this bearish scenario with two charts this is the first one BAM this chart is showing you the super trend indicator. This indicator shows you when to buy and when to sell Bitcoin. This one is showing us that the moment we didn't break 11,200, we would go down again. And not a little bit. You can see these blue vertical lines. These are the lines of support. These are the lines of where to put your buy orders if we don't go up from here, but if we go down first. So the first buy order should be around 10,200. The second buy order should be around 10,000. US dollar third buy order should be around 9,800 US dollar and the fourth buy order should be around 9,600 US dollar around the CME gap and then the bears expect after going down we go up again back to this 11,200 level that we need to break the level that is the biggest resistance at the moment these guys are also saying um, this is only going to happen when we don't break the 11,250 level so when we don't go upwards now this is going to happen but there is another scenario and that is this one BAM on this scenario you need to watch the blue line this means that the blue line will first take us up to 11,400 between 200 and 400 and then take us down to all these lines the vertical the vertical support lines I showed you in the previous chart so all the way down to 9,600 US dollar before we go up again so on this chart you can see two scenarios the red one is the one I showed you on the previous chart that is that we fall back that we fall down now and the second one is that we go up first to touch this downward trend line and then fall down the way all the way back to 9600 so you can see the difference between the bears and the bulls the bears really think we are going to fill the CME gap the bull think that we just found support around 10k and that we are going to continue this uptrend and we are going to slowly approach the 12k that we then will break to reach a new all-time high later this year I just got a text from a guy with some kind of real estate thing house place how do you call it real estate office driving there now with his beautiful daughter of I, Jolie because he uh, has some houses he wants to share with us I will take Jolie now because Jolie has a very strong opinion on what she wants in life <laughs> and what kind of a house she wants she's smiling now I don't but it's good. true you yeah. always look good never yeah. be ashamed of your beautiful face mm -hmm. so what are we going to search for a house with a good bedrooms um, in the centrum, near the centrum, beach, beautiful kitchen. Um, she wants, she wants perfect. Yeah. <laughs> this came from his office, beautiful office, really nice guy. I love it. We have the same roots. Yes, Indonesian roots. And he has two beautiful apartments. We love the apartments. We love the view. He has like fiber internet. This is exactly what we need as a family. But they are not available at the moment. They are only available from the 1st of October. And that is kind of a problem because that would mean we need to do another 10 days in this situation with no internet. And it's not that's just not possible as a Bitcoin family to have no internet um, we yes awful we depend on internet so yeah we need to find a, a solution in between and then maybe go to his apartments in 10 days so um, in one hour I have a big meeting about House of Dao in Thailand and um, a very big meeting so I need to be driving home now to prepare for this meeting and I need to find a place where I can upload this video because we still don't have internet so this is like a bomb dia day or not a bomb dia day but uh, you, we always make the best of it I want to talk to you about last night last night we again went into the Lagos town in Lagos center and again exactly on the same place there was a live musicians playing sharing their talent with us over there just take a look and just listen for a second to this guy and this is why I want to learn to play guitar better and better and better check this one BAM!
after listening to these musicians and having some pizzas with the family, yes, the kids wanted to have pizzas yesterday, I brought Romain, Jolie and Juna back home and yes, I wanted to go to the bumper cars on this carnival, how do you say this in English? Cam is in Holland, carnival I think. So yes, I took Jessa to these bumper cars and we drove in these bumper cars. I need to crash Jessa, she was trying to crash me. <laughs> we had a lot of fun, but we bought like 10 euros, like 0.00001 Bitcoin and uh, we got to ride like 12 times in the cars so each six times. Uh, we had a we had a lot of fun because we were almost the only ones in these bumper cars. Uh, Jessa was like, oh, she was trying to hit me harder and harder and harder. That was all the information about the Bitcoin charts, about searching for a house and everything else I showed you in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your community, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on every new video. And yes, please leave a comment because I love to reply to your comments. Thanks for watching again today and hopefully see you tomorrow again. And now let's figure out how I can upload this video onto YouTube without, you, without having Wi-Fi in our apartment. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye.